Hey everybody, Scoop Brady here. This algebra lesson is applying uh, exponent properties. Uh, something you've probably seen before. If not, I'll, I'll teach you again. So multiply x to the third times x squared. We're going to expand those. There's x to the third. There's x squared. So when you combine all of them, it gets me um, uh, x to the fifth because there's five of them. Can you see a shortcut from here to here? Okay, we'll have a rule coming up. I'm sure you guys can. How about this? X cubed squared. Okay, X cubed squared means it's X cubed times X cubed. Okay, uh, because it's being squared. So there's my two times being squared. And then I'm going to rewrite this as uh, XXX, and this is XXX. Okay, so that's going to get me uh, six of them, X to the sixth. Can you see a shortcut if you see this uh, expression and this answer right here? versus this expression and this answer right here. Here it is. So section C, the law of exponents. If you have uh, x to a power and you have the same base, which is x, to a different power and you're multiplying them, then you just take that base and you just add those exponents right there. Just like I did right here. This became x to the 3 plus 2 power right here. And this one here, when you had powers raised to powers, you end up multiplying them. So whenever you have a power to a power, you just multiply them. And so here it was x to the 3 times 2. I'm sure you saw that. So powers to powers, you multiply them, otherwise we add them. So simplify the expressions, okay? All right, here, <clears throat> this is, you either add them or multiply them. This is the case where I'm going to add them. So this is going to be x to the 17th. Okay, this is going to be the case powers to powers where I multiply them. Excuse me, i got a cough. <coughs> okay, so here, you guys, negative 2 to an even power, the negative goes away. I don't know if you're aware of that. If that was an odd power, then the negative would stay. But if a negative is being raised to an even power, then it goes away. So, so you think of this as like positive 2 to the 4th and then raised to the 5th, powers to powers, you multiply them, so it's 2 to the 20th. 2 to the 20th is an extremely large number. Uh, your calculators won't even recognize it, you guys. So don't try getting 2 to the 20th. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 20 times you do it multiplied by 2, which is a very large number. So don't worry about that. Okay, same with this one here. Y to the or y plus 2 quantity to the 6, and then that quantity is to the, the second power right there. Don't do anything with the y plus 6. You just worry about the exponents, and this is a case where I multiply them. 6 times 2 equals 12. All right? Okay, so uh, one more law of exponents, you guys, and it's this. If I have two things being raised to a power, then you just put each little base to the power. So if it's x times y inside parentheses to a uh, m power, then it's x to the m, y to the m. So for example, if I had uh, uh, negative 10 to the 6th squared, well, it's this negative 10 that's being squared and the x to the 6th that's being squared. And that's what this says right here. Negative 10 squared. Remember, if a negative is being raised to an even power, the negative goes away, so it becomes a positive 100. Because it's negative 10 times negative 10, which is a positive. Negative times negative is a positive. And then powers raised to powers, I multiply them. Okay, so that would be the answer. All right, let's do a handful more of these, and we'll be done. So simplify these guys right here. Okay, look how close these guys look alike. The only difference is is this right here. The negative here is being included with the exponent, so the negative is being attached with this squared part. Whereas this negative out here, it doesn't, it's not dealing with this squared part right here. Okay, so let's do this one here. Let's just do, let's follow this rule right here. If we have two numbers inside of parentheses to a power like this one, 4 is to the second power and x cubed is to the second power, then I'm going to raise both of those to the second power. Okay, notice the, the negative's not being touched with any of that because it's outside the parentheses here. So it's going to be 4 squared, which is right here. Okay, and then x cubed squared, which is right here, and the negative just floats out here. 4 squared is 16, and that's negative, you guys, because the negative's not being included with the squared part. It's all, it just stays out here the whole time. Okay, and then uh, powers raised to powers, you multiply them. Okay, over here, you guys, this negative is being included in the parentheses, so it's actually negative 4 quantity squared. So it's negative 4 squared and then x cubed squared. Negative 4 squared is a positive 16, but x cubed squared is, a, a, and then makes that to the 6th, okay? See the difference right here? This negative just means it's negative whatever that stuff is right there. And this stuff is the 16x to the 6th, so this is negative that. Whereas this one, this negative is being included with the squared part to make that negative go away. All right, let's try uh, uh, this guy right here, okay? So 5 times the quantity, 5x cubed, cubed. All right, so um, 
this cubed goes with this 5, and it also goes with this x cubed, okay? It doesn't go with this 5 out here, so I'm going to float that 5 out there. Okay, there it is right there, and then it's the 5 cubed. Here's my 5 cubed, and it's the x cubed cubed, which is that right there, okay? 5 cubed is 125. 5 times 5 is 25 times one more 5. 5 times 5 times 5. 5 quarters is $1.25. Okay, so this is uh, 125 right there. There's this 5 still hanging out out there. And then uh, powers raised to powers, I multiply them. Now you can multiply 5 times 125, and you get 625. Okay, okay. Um, so this one here, let's try this again. Okay, okay. so this is going to be uh, 2 squared, x cubed squared, and then I'll do times the x to the fourth later. Okay, there's the 2 squared, x cubed squared. Okay, 2 squared becomes 4 x uh, cubed squared is x to the sixth, and then there's my x to the fourth right there. And then on these two guys, I can go ahead and combine these by adding these exponents. So it becomes 4x to the tenth power, you guys. Alrighty, nice work, you guys.